This is a story of a boy made of wood called Pinocchio. He lives with his father and he enjoys playing outside. But at this very day, he couldn't because the weather was not on his side. What a somber day. <sighs> Pinocchio, my dear boy, why don't you go out and play with your friends? Enjoy the beautiful weather. I don't go out because the weather's so fine, Papa. Huh? I thought he said it needs some entertainment. And that is why you should never be cynical to your father, Pinocchio. Maybe you should apologize now. I'm so sorry, Papa. According to the scene played out between Pinocchio and his father, Jepito, we can assuredly classify the implication-based scenario as flouting the maxim of quality in the Gracian principles. This is due to Pinocchio's feeling of somberness contradicting Jepito's perception of beautiful weather outside, while in reality, it only rains. As Thomas claims, the speaker, in flouting the maxim of quality context, will blatantly fail to observe a maxim at the level of what is said by the other party with, delib with deliberate intention of generating an implication. According to Kurniati and Sharifah, flouting the maxim of quality occurs when the speaker's utterance does not represent reality or when the speaker deliberately says something untrue. This aligns synonymously with the basis of flouting the maxim of quality that Karsten came up with, which flouting the maxim of quality often relates to not uttering the things you believe are incorrect. Elaboration on Manifestations of the Teachings of Islam The maxim of quality urges us not to say what we perceive to be false and not to say anything for which we lack evidence. Individuals are supposed to say what they know to be true, and we want individuals to tell us the truth according to this maxim. In this instance, all of the information should be accurate or have the appropriate, obvious references to support the veracity of the content. In relation to the scene, Pinocchio is seen to be flouting when he answers his father sarcastically that the weather is fine to go play in the sun. In this case, Pinocchio disregarded the maximum quality, where one should always try to be truthful when speaking. As it is an integral aspect of a Muslim belief in Islam, as mentioned in Surah Al Ahzab 70 to 71, Allah says Pinocchio violated the maxim on purpose with a sort of communication intention to imply that the weather is not fit to go outside instead of answering truthfully. He was flouting the maximum of quality when he said, I don't go out because the weather is so fine, Papa. Not only that, this action violates the right of Muslims towards their parents as Allah has emphasized the importance of respecting and honoring parents just after the belief in Allah and sincere worship of Him. Allah says, And your Lord has decreed that you not worship except Him, and to parents, good treatment, whether one or both of them reach old age while with you, and say not to them so much as oof, and do not repel them, but speak to them a noble word. Quran 17.23 Furthermore, the Prophet ﷺ emphasized the importance of treating parents with kindness and respect, ranking it second only to offering prayers on time, as prayers are considered the cornerstone of the Islamic faith, which in this case, Pinocchio was being unnecessarily disrespectful from a harmless question. In Christianity, the Bible focuses on the attitude and the thoughts of the speaker's speech. The book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 22 demonstrates that while unrighteous thoughts and attitudes are not the same as unrighteous actions, they are just as worthy to be labeled as sins. 
Here, Pinocchio flouted the maxim of quality as he sarcastically stated that the fine weather is the exact reason why he doesn't want to go out to play with his friends to his father with disrespect. Since Pinocchio's intentions are hurtful, it is seen as a sin in Christianity. Christianity teaches that all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another. And the Bible also condemns disrespect to one's parents, for the punishment in the Old Testament for disobeying them is death. Hence, it is not really okay of Pinocchio to be disrespectful to his father as well. Despite both religions teaching their followers to must and always respect the elders, Pinocchio seems to completely disregard the basic human common sense of embodying kindness and respect towards another being by intentionally answering Geppetto's questions falsely. According to Rini 2016, an utterance is false when the speaker does not convey the truth while speaking even though there is the right amount of information given. To relate to our context, Pinocchio violated the maxim of quality when he did not respond rightfully to his father's questions. Instead, he takes it as a joke and leaves the question hanging with the incorrect information. This results in Pinocchio possessing a very disrespectful manner toward his father. And sadly enough, the majority of young people in this day and age have commonly embodied this particular attitude into their habits. This is due to their corrupted perception saying that it is okay or this is a normal thing to do. Little did they know, their humor left many undesired implications in their parents' or guardians' hearts which according to what Islam and Christianity is teaching would lead someone on the path of sin which would then bring them straight to hellfire.